Forecast with Thomas Keyboy, Weather Rate certified 11 years in a row. Good afternoon, Utah. I hope that your work week has gotten off to a good start. Even though we have been talking about snow in northern Utah, we're continuing to add more snow to the equation as our system continues to spread across the state. And we've been talking about this a lot, really over the last couple of months, but the snow water equivalent, so our Utah snowpack average, when you combine all the basins together and you get that snow water equivalent, basically how much water you'd be left over with if you were to melt all that snow down. Right now we're sitting at 28.7, and you'll remember the record since 1980 was set back in 1983 at 26 inches. So we're well above that. Consequently, this date, April 3rd, is normally when we have our median peak snow water equivalent, which is normally 15.8. But if you're wondering about the all time snow water equivalent record, that was 28.8 set back in 1952. However, that was using hand measurements and less sites were measured. So we really are in record territory with how much water is stored up in the mountains and we're on our way to possibly 29 inches. It's really hard to think about just how much water that is. But again, we're tracking more of that water falling from the sky, mainly snow showers in northern Utah, where we're seeing a little bit of a break for portions along the Wasatch front, not seeing as much in Davis, Weber County, Box Elder County, Cache County. But we're still seeing times of steadier snow in portions of the Salt Lake Valley, the Utah Valley, the Wasatch back still seeing snow, the Wasatch Mountain still seeing snow, Twill and Rush Valley still seeing snow. Then as we make our way down to southern Utah, we're getting a little bit of rain around Cedar City. That rain is transitioning over into snow near Beaver. So if you're traveling on the I-15 corridor near the I-15, I-70 interchange, be prepared for some slushy conditions. Then in the eastern portion of the state, I wouldn't be surprised if we're seeing at least a little bit of light snow falling around Duchesne, while we're also seeing a little bit of wet weather trying to find its way into portions of Grand County. All of this being driven by an upper level trough coming in from the Pacific Northwest. We have that southwesterly wind ahead of it dragging in that moisture along with it. Then you have this dynamic system moving through to provide all that lift and we'll see more energy on the backside of this system, which means even after that system is swinging through, we'll see more chances for wet weather for our Tuesday. But for today, with the dynamics of the storm, like recent storms, there will be more potential for thunderstorms. So in St. George, the chance for thunderstorms while in the northern portion of the state and where it's typically colder, we could see some thunder snow today. Now the winter alerts, they, these do continue for the winter storm mornings in the southern mountains, southwestern Utah. These just began. These will continue through six o'clock in the morning just because the wet weather will clear southern Utah first. But that rain that we have out there will transition over into snow, expecting generally between five to ten inches between Cedar City and Beaver. Then as we make our way into the northwestern portion of the state for the Great Salt Lake Desert and surrounding mountains, we could see two to six inches between now and six o'clock this evening. And then for the Wasatch Front, Wasatch Back, Cash Valley, Valley, Eastern Box Elder County, Tuel and Rush Valleys. These winter storm warnings continue through six o'clock in the evening tomorrow. Generally two to three feet for most mountains. We could see locally up to four feet plus in the upper Cottonwoods and the Davis County area mountains also four to 12 inches for most valleys, eight to 14 for the benches locally up to 20. And those commutes will be impacted this evening and likely through tomorrow as well. So if you plan on getting out on the roadways, make sure that you're building in extra time. And when it comes to these snow accumulations, we've already seen half a foot or more in a lot of our valley. So we are looking at healthy accumulations already. And since it's taking a little bit longer for the wet weather to reach southeastern Utah, we do have high wind warnings that are currently in effect through nine o'clock this evening as gusts upward of 65 miles per hour are expected. So we'll be looking at some whipping winds in the southeastern portion of the state. Here's the current view from Alta where that snow is continuing to fall heavily now up to 824 inches for the season at Alta just based on their noon update. But that is some heavy snow that continues to fall. BYU and Provo, again, there are still spots along the Wasatch Front that are still seeing times of steady snow, so be careful out on the roadways. But for those of you in St. George, it has been a downright pleasant morning. Still looking a bit dusty down there because we're seeing some strong winds, but a temperature of 61, I don't think most folks will be complaining even though the cold front is on the way. And you can definitely tell that the cold front moved through northern Utah, only sitting in the middle 30s. We won't see those temperatures move much. And St. George, you're more or less sitting at your daytime high because as we go from this afternoon to this evening, you're going to have the chance of rain showers while Cedar City, a chance of snow. We might get a little bit of a break in northern Utah during the overnight, but with a northwesterly flow, we could see some lake effect and some lake enhancement. So we'll keep a close eye on that. Wet weather will try to clear southern Utah first, but with more energy arriving going into our Tuesday. Scattered snow showers will continue with those winds mainly out of the northwest with that best chance being in the northern two thirds of the state. And then once we get into Wednesday, just isolated snow showers before high pressure begins to build in and that will lead to calmer conditions as we round out the work week. As for those of you in St. George, you're more or less again sitting at your daytime high with a temperature of 61 degrees, but that chance of rain will be increasing, still holding on to a chance 
through our Tuesday, but notice what happens Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, dry conditions, warming temperatures and by this upcoming Easter weekend, we could be near 80 degrees in St. George. Then along the Wasatch front, snow showers continue through today. Scattered snow showers for our Tuesday, holding on to a chance through our Wednesday, but then dry Thursday and Friday. And look at the temperatures for the Easter weekend. Middle 50s on Saturday could get to 60 degrees on Easter Sunday. So more swings when it comes to our weather, but we will at least get some calmer weather by the end of the week into the Easter weekend. And that's what we've been looking forward to. We just want to make sure that we don't warm up too fast. Yeah, but we don't want to do yeah. an Easter egg hunt when it's snowing and raining. That sounds miserable. So it just yeah. needs to relax even just for that day. Yeah, so we're going through winter right now and it's going to feel a lot more like spring by the Easter weekend. All right, cool. Thank you.